So today is gonna be a interesting day. We're gonna be doing the first oil change on the 2010 BMW E91. Something to know with these cars, if you guys don't know with these BMW E91s, there's no dipstick, which is a pain in the butt, and I'm gonna I'll tell you why right now. So I have this handy dandy little pump mechanism vacuum that sucks out the oil for my for me for my cars when I'm gonna be doing an oil change. The problem is this little guy here uses the dipstick to be able to suck the oil out. So what you do is you feed this down through the dipstick, it sucks all your oil out of your oil pan because your dipstick obviously goes in your oil pan, makes it easy, a no-brainer, whatnot. With this guy, unfortunately, there's no dipstick, so we're gonna have to jack the car up, put it on jack stands, and do an oil change the old-fashioned way, which is not that big of a deal. I actually like doing this kind of stuff, so I'm excited to do it for the first time on the car. And actually, I'll show you guys in a second, I popped the hood on this and I cleaned the engine bay the other day and there was actually a Liquid Molly sticker already on the car saying when the oil was changed and what Liquid Molly they used. Just really cool to know that the guy that had this before me took care of it and ran good oil in it. And because I can't use that little nifty device, I had to go out and buy a, I bought a Creeper from Harbor Freight. $35 for a Creeper. Something that I needed here in the shop anyways, in the shop, this is my garage, in the shop. Uh, something I needed anyways here in the garage. And I got myself a nifty difty pair of new gloves that I needed. And we have an oil filter tool, uh, oil filter removal tool, because on these cars, there's no nut on top of the, uh, the cap for the oil filter. Another BMW thing, I guess. But I had to go buy that, so hopefully that's gonna work. We're gonna find out. So I figured before I got too much further in depth with this, before I started draining all the oil out, I was gonna try out this little handy dandy thing I got at Harbor Freight, and it sucks, it just doesn't work. It doesn't meet up with the teeth that are on the oil cap. Uh, so I think I'm gonna have to run over to O'Reilly Auto Parts and pick up a new one. Let me just show you what I'm talking about here. So this mechanism works, as you tighten it, these teeth close in. But it doesn't line up with the teeth that are on here. So no matter what I do, it just slips. So instead of just saying I'll do this another day, I'm gonna go run to O'Reilly Auto Parts and we're gonna pick up a belted oil cap wrench. Something that will just slip over top of it, it'll grip on it and it'll rip it right off, hopefully. So let's go to O'Reilly's. <laughs> We made it to O'Reilly Auto Parts. I'm gonna run it inside and see if they have what I need. I'm really hoping that they do. They should, they should. All right, so I got what I needed. I'm really hoping that this works. Uh, my friend Joseph over at O'Reilly Auto Parts hooked me up. So we're gonna go back and see if this works. And it freaking better, because this is my second attempt at trying to buy something and it not working, so. Let's go back to the garage. All right, let's see if uh, if this is gonna work for us. Oh, like a beaut, easy peasy. 
So now that I know that that's gonna work though, let's actually get to finishing this up. So it calls for about six and a half quarts, so that's why I put it in. We're gonna start it up, see how everything goes, make sure there's no leaks. And then since there's no dipstick, the way you check your oil engine level is by going through the menu system on the dash. So it will check that once we're done. All right guys, so everything checked out. Uh, the oil level looks good. I'm gonna leave this door open for a little bit because I don't wanna get gassed out. Uh, I'm gonna clean the car up a little bit just cause I have it in the garage and it's been snowing and raining. Um, a little bit of news for you guys. Uh, let me tell you this. I've been thinking about getting a new drift build project and I have an E30 in mind. So let me know what you guys think about that. But anyways, thanks for watching this video guys. We'll catch you in the next one. Have a great day and we'll see you later. Peace.